Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. My name is Tommy Wave, and today we'll be taking a look at, uh, not this odd rogue, uh, G Guto VM's odd rogue. Uh, a list that they uh, said just made legend with, uh, and coincidentally, we also just made legend uh, with Odd Rogue as well. So I feel like it, it's a great time to talk about Odd Rogue because I've got a lot of experience with it, or a little bit of experience with it. Um, and so we can hopefully go through the details a little bit more with you. So we'll go through uh, Guto's list and then I'll show you the list that I played. Just a couple of little differences between the uh, Odd Rogue decks and then we'll jump straight into some games. So for those of you who haven't seen the Odd Rogue archetype before, it's based around Baku the Moon Eater. Uh, we, as long as our deck contains only odd cost cards, it upgrades our hero power. And that upgraded hero power uh, for Rogue is instead of summoning a 1-2 dagger, we summon a 2-2 two -two dagger which is extremely good in the ca in a lot of the creature-based matchups. Any matchup where your opponent's trying to get you down with uh, with minions, so zoo, these kinds of things, uh, it's really good. Uh, it means that uh, three toughness is really important. Uh, you do kind of struggle a little bit against those minions, but anything two or one, for instance, a lot of the zoo warlock decks that have been around lately, uh, it seem, feels like a very favorable matchup. So to go with uh, that kind of aggressive board control -y game plan, there's a lot of one drops in here. In fact, has probably the uh, best selection of uh, one drops uh, with the Argent Squire, Diamonds, Fireflies, and South Sea Deckhands. Uh, we've also got Deadly Poisons in here. As I mentioned before, three toughness can be pretty uh, pretty rough for you. So Deadly Poison helps you take out things like Saranite Chain Gang, uh, helps you bash through uh, in the mirror opposing uh, hench clan thugs and vicious fledglings and all these all these things is one of the most uh, important cards in the deck for keeping board control and giving you a little bit of extra reach uh, at the three drop slot we've got uh, a lot of these lists have a very common three drop slot in that they play blink foxes hench clan thugs si7s uh, and the rest is a little bit varied. Some decks do cut Vicious Fledglings, but I think this is one of the most important cards in the deck. Uh, gives you a lot of outs to some matchups that you otherwise would not be able to win. Uh, and then you have a selection of uh, interesting tech cards. So Guto VM has gone for the Plague Scientist and the Void Ripper here. Void Ripper being quite good against Druid. Uh, it's a great out to Spreading Plague uh, and can help you get some uh, favorable, favorable trades. Uh, and the Plague Scientist is quite good also against Druid, uh, against those uh, high toughness Tauntos. Uh, when we combine it with our, uh, our lower, lower drop minions, we can trade our Fireflies or our Argent Squires for their um, Ironwood Golems. Uh, and also quite good in a pinch against uh, Evenlock, as we can take out their Mountain Giants or uh, Doomsayers quite easily. Quite an interesting one here. Uh, they have chosen to omit the Iron Beak Owl, or some number of Iron Beak Owls, uh, which is interesting. Quite a good card against Warlocks, um, and in a pinch against Druids. Um, but I, I usually don't leave home without a Silence, so it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Uh, and they also don't have any Tar Creepers in here, which... Uh, like I said before, is uh, yeah, there's a lot of Zulocks on the ladder, and that card is phenomenal against Zulok. Really uh, makes it quite tough for them to trade if, uh, effectively with you. Uh, at the five drop slot, uh, this is where we get a lot of our power cards. We've got Green Skin in here uh, to turn our dagger into a three three, or even better with the uh, the Deadly Poisons, get an extra hit out of it. One Scale Bane, two Fungal Mancers, uh, Leroy and Vilespine. Vilespine being uh, phenomenal right now. Uh, and then Baku right at the end. So uh, I'll show you the list that uh, we hit Legend with, just to give you a bit of a comparison. So still the same lot of uh, one drops. At three, we've got uh, Van Cleef as one of the uh, as one of those kind of power cards. Uh, it's not the greatest here, as it uh, is in say like Miracle or something like that. We're usually playing this as like a, a six six or an eight eight at the most. Uh, got the one Iron Beak Owl in here, and as we mentioned, those two Tar Creepers. Um, and we make room for those tar creepers by cutting out some of those five drops. So we're a little bit lower to the ground, hopefully trying to go under people. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into some games and see how we go. Okay. You asked for it. Up against Mage. So we do have 
uh, a pretty bad matchup against Big Spell Mage, unfortunately. Um, Tempo Mage, we, we actually have quite a good matchup. And it's often madness. Five years old, so they're just in... Uh, in Australia, we'd say... I think five years old is grade one? None grade one or prep? Preschool? Alright, we want to see that turn one minor worm. No dice. So generally what I found with, uh, against big spell mage is, uh, a lot of the time out, out is, uh, just trying to play around, uh, Dragon's Fury as much as possible. That's the card that really, really dunks us. Polymorph is, is okay here. Unfortunately, we don't have a great follow-up. Really just have to take our damage whilst we can... Uh, whilst we can take it, but... This is a really hard matchup. Uh, it usually involves us uh, trying to play around Dragon's Fury, playing around it, losing some resources when they play it, then trying to build up a board again and eating uh, either the second Dragon's Fury or a Blizzard into Artificer Blizzard. Barrier. Ice, ice barrier. Too cold. Too cold. Here we go. Make lights out. <laughs> the games that they don't have Dragon's Fury are. Uh, very different to the ones that they do, but they always have it. All right. Here so we let's go. bash. Dagger up again. Deadly poison. Ah, and we'll just hope that they don't have the uh, the three mana three mana ooze. Unfortunately. We do need to play quite uh, quite aggressively in this matchup, as we're certainly not winning in the uh, in the long run. Hey, lights out. Here we go. The light protects me. Reality breaks. Flame strike's not the worst thing here. I think we're more concerned if it's uh, artificer into blizzard. Yeah. Ooh, let's see what we get. Ooh. It's pretty good actually. We might be able to surprise him 
with the uh, with the extra three damage. That's what we needed, the, uh, the Vile Spine for. I will Ooh, my madness with the 200 biddies. Thank you so much. Gosh. Getting that football giveaway activated. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Every single little bitty counts. Definitely motivates me to uh, get some more content out there. Come dance to my song. Piper. Oh, that's really bad. And now following as well. Thank you so much for the follow, mom. On your mom. Tip tops the one. Here we go. You are not welcome here. I think I'm gonna throw this at the face. It's so he late here, but I'll check in another day. I live in Korea, so Australia is my time zone usually. Ah, that's cool. I love Korea. I've been it been a couple of times, so next time you stop by, let's uh let's uh let's chat Korea and America. And you're a beautiful boy. I hope you have a fantastic uh fantastic night. We'll GG out of this one. Well played. I it was close there. It was actually uh, quite close. We had the Leroy. Maybe we should have uh, we should have budgeted our Vile Spine a little bit more because we did get did take a bit of an aggressive route there. Hmm. Back with another. All right. Your Here we go. Up against Warlock. So we've been seeing plenty, plenty, plenty of the, uh, the heal Zulok lately. And, uh, I think it's a pretty favourable matchup. Uh, if they do hit the, the early Keleseth though, we need to make sure we get the game done sooner rather than later. Because we simply can't compete with their buffed minions. And they generally play some, uh, a greater selection of bigger minions than us. Though we've drawn both of the uh, the tech cards, so this is, we'll definitely get to see how these uh, these cards perform in the matchup. See if they have the quick start. They don't. Here we go. So one one thing to keep in mind with the the heal Zulok decks is that they don't have a lot of um, instant interaction. Uh, they really only have Soul Fire and Doom Guard. Uh, I think we'll try and push some damage through here. Reality Oh, okay. We got baited. Maybe some kind of uh, old school control lock here. So we'll go thug. Because we can buff this out of the range of hellfire. Um, 
Hot and Sky as well. Here we go. Just want the largest selection of minions that will uh, hopefully live. So that we can uh, get this Fungal Mancer down. If they're going to go for like a Mountain Giant here, we have the, uh, the Plague Scientist. So, yeah, old school control, Q block, some some kind of variety. Sweet Mechadraxus skin. We're gonna have to play some Warlock soon. Must destroy. I'm hoping that. Uh, this next expansion, because it's going to have a lot of nether storm stuff, that we, uh, hopefully we get a Kael'thas. And hopefully he's as, uh, as strong as, like, Lich King. Like a nice pushed legendary. What are they thinking here? El Gigante! I guess we could have cold blooded here as well. Unfortunately, this puts a lot of eggs in this basket. So if they have like coin siphon soul, they're actually in an okay position. Plague sign to set us up with a file. Yeah, we definitely missed that one. But they are on six. It's cool to see the new hero as a warrior. Hope to see new warrior. Have I missed a spoiler? Ah, oh, spoiler. Oof, looks like we might be about to get dunked on. If our opponent has the uh has the possessed lackey. Yes. Oh yes. They do. seen anything. I've not missed anything rather. Dr. Boom hero card. His text is behind beakers and stuff. Oh! Oh! I had no idea. That's really interesting. Here we go. Hmm. I think... I think I'm actually not supposed to play anything. So that they have to have a way to trigger their own possessed lackey. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I didn't notice that the um that the card that was obscured was Dr. Boom, nor that it was a hero card. But a warrior hero, that's gonna be pretty interesting. Hopefully it's a cheap one. That or it's uh, an expensive one that has a better late game thing than Garrosh. I guess Garrosh does pretty good at... Uh, uh, does a good job at uh, synergizing with the Enrage Warrior theme and the deal damage to your own thing. Um, synergies. So I guess maybe, the, maybe Dr. Boom's about taunt? 
probably more likely about mechs. Oh, we're totally dead. We have to draw exactly SI7. Uh, 3, 6. Eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's exactly lethal. So well played to our opponent. Well played. I'm oh, duck out of this one. So, fortunately, set ourselves up for uh, that big, that big defile. And in my in my head, I thought the uh, the pig was safe, but I forgot we were dropping the uh, the three toughness onto the board. So. That sucks, but be back with another. Versus Cadgar. All right, up against Cadgar. Is power. What? Mage. So once again, we are hoping that it is uh, not big spell mage. Ooh, and we got the brick. Yeah, maybe it'll be like uh, like Hagatha and be like a passive hero power. Like whenever you play a mech summon a mech of the same cost but it summons it to the the left maybe so that way you can randomly get like magnetized mechs that will that will buff your uh None the mech that you just played survive. that could be really cool all And it like it definitely will like battle cry to summon the two the two bots. Like I can't not do that. Ugh. Okay. Flame strike I'm okay with. I think that's one of the like not weakest cards in the matchup, but it's potentially a card that we can um we can avoid. See if they have the polymorph. They always do. I wasn't really playing when the other mech expansion happened, so I don't really have context for those expansions. Just hope mechs are fun to play with and against. What yeah, basically the old mechs uh, functioned kind of similarly to elementals, or elementals as we see them now. So many options. Oof. We don't really have a clean solution for this. Mushroom power! Here we go. So going Divine Shield here instead of the, uh... Oh... But I wanted those. They might be trying to set up, uh, a... Like, ping into, um... 
The light protects me. Into Dragon's Fury. Which we still get dunked by, but we'll try and play to our outs. Yeah, the the old mechs were very like a lot very similar to Come dance to my song. Um very similar to elementals, like there was a Where's the dragon's fury? <laughs> they actually shredded all the spells from our deck. So you had like a lot of neutral support. Uh, and then each like individual class had a lot of uh, a lot of support as well. Here we go. I'm actually going to keep the Divine Shield up on the Ardent's Choir. So if they do Dragon's Furious, we're going to keep something. They have Artificer? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, uh, that's the dragon's shirt. Right here. here. <laughs> Never wind fury. Um. Yeah. Guess we'll go death rattle. Playing, praying for wind fury. Why would I ever get wind fury though? Never, never wind fury. Uh, we'll get this flame element in the middle to uh, make those uh, meteors a bit rougher for our opponent. Ooh. I think this is definitely one of those matchups where you kind of see how. Uh, how vicious fledgling can be. Like really allows us to win games that we otherwise shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Get the Baku out on this I side. So they've gone through both artifices. What can they have? Hmm. They need the other blizzard, right? To not uh, not die. Observe and reflect. They, oh my gosh, I'm such, so foolish. They couldn't target this, uh, the vicious fledgling with, uh, there we go. They couldn't target the vicious fledgling with meteor anyway, so we should have had the vicious fledgling in the center. I don't know why we were goofing around with that. But with 10-8 Baku doesn't seem like a bad, bad body, yeah. I mean, that's how we, that's how you, you, we draw it up, right? You know, putting the scale bane in the deck to buff our, uh, our nine mana seven eights. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take a look at the deck. So we, uh, we did hit a couple of, um, a couple of the harder matchups. Um, just unfortunate, but we kind of, kind of saw what you need to do and what you need to hope for in order to get through them. Uh, Right now, I'm not super confident on the Plague Scientist. Um, the Void Ripper, I, I'm more confident on. I think the Void Ripper also just has a more reasonable body when he's not useful, when they are not useful. Um, 
I'm actually kind of, I was really hot, excited to to play Captain Greenskin when I saw Odd Rogues that was actually starting to include it. But more and more I'm thinking that uh, Greenskin is just a bit of an awkward card. Uh, already, like, you can kind of see in the, the mid-game, you, you want a dagger often, but because of the mana costs in your deck, you don't have a lot of uh, granularity. So daggering up can actually be quite difficult. So I think it's quite hard to reliably, you know, play with Captain Greenskin. I, I mean, I found when I was playing it, usually you're playing it like on turn eight or something. You're going like dagger, deadly poison, Greenskin. And that's pretty good. You know, that's that's a five damage dagger with three hits. That's like 15 damage. But those are, those times are few and far between. So, um, I, I'm not even sure if I like it more than the scale bane. I'm up and down. I really like that the scale bane has five toughness. I think that that's, that's pretty important right now, but overall a fantastic deck. I think that, uh, it's one of the most fun decks to play right now, uh, and definitely a really competitive deck. So if you have something remotely close to this in your collection, or you, you're looking to craft a new deck, uh, this is definitely a, a good craft. Uh, there's lots of flexibility. You can start experimenting on your own. You know, do you like Tar Creepers? Do you like Iron Beak Owls and this kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, so if you are watching on YouTube, all the links will be down in the description, uh, including a link to the Hearthpone article where uh, Guto VM uh, talks about the deck uh, and talks about their, uh, their experience getting first time legend. Uh, if you want to follow me as well, the best place to do that is either over on Twitch or on Twitter at Tommy underscore wave on both. Um, those are the best places to chat with me. And uh, yeah, until next time, I hope you all stay wavy. Bye.